Hello guys and welcome, it is that SLB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 3 video. Today I got a lot of things to show you guys about the sloshing machine in particular, which I would say some would claim is the best weapon in Splatoon 3. And uh, here's why. Now what you guys are seeing here is that the sloshing machine has an extremely ridiculously big hitbox. A hitbox that is so big that it can actually go through walls depending on the arc of how you shoot your sloshing machine. It was first discovered on Sturgeon Shipyard on the very middle of the map but it also seems like that there are many more places in Splatoon 3 maps that this is just possible and very, very easy to do. Now I'm going to do my best to explain how it's done and why it's stupidly broken. We've tested this on absolutely every single map in the game. There are a lot of spots where it's very easy to pull off. Basically what you are trying to do is hit your opponent with the social machine's outer side of the non-direct hitbox. What this will allow is that you'll be able to hit somebody on the other side of the wall without having to hit them directly. Once you understand that, it is extremely easy to do like extremely easy because it's literally you're shooting someone through the whole wall now the thing is is that you're not actually shooting the actual direct projectile of the sloshing machine if you do shoot that at the wall it'll basically not work but other than that yes this entirely breaks platoon 3 in a multitude of ways as you can see in this clip i can hit people through this wall with no issue at all hitting them on the sniper area of sturgeon it's nuts because it's a spot generally where people could be hiding. Which there is no lighter term to say that yes, this does break Splatoon 3. Now I do want to be clear here, this bug or exploit or issue, whatever you want to call it, does entirely depend on how thick or thin the wall is. It will not work for every single wall, but I'm going to show you basically every single wall that it did work on every single map that we try. There's also an issue with splash walls as well. If you're shooting on the side of a splash wall, the outer hitbox should still be able to go through the wall, which definitely should just not be the case at all. I feel like when you pull it off once, it's very easy to tell how thin the wall needs to be in order for you to actually hit somebody on the other side of the wall. So we're going to explore basically every map in the game. Starting off with Mahi Mahi, this inflatable wall right here is very, very easy to shoot through the wall. You could do it on both sides if you really wanted to as well, as long as you know how to arc it. Eel Tail Alley, guys, is extremely bad. As we all know, this is a, a place where normally people would stand of any kind. And with the slushing machine, you can hit people very, very seamlessly without trying, honestly. As long as the outer side of the slushing machine's hitbox is actually going through, that's all that matters. So you can see my helpers just basically go down very, very easily here. It also works on this wall in Eel Tail Alley as well. This one's actually a little bit harder since it was a thicker wall. So it was the very peak of the outer hitbox. But just to show you, it can be possible with things like this too. I also wanted to try it with the big bubbler. It seems like it's almost possible to do it with them. It was kind of hard to tell, but it does seem like it also works with big bubblers as well. There were a few spots on Inkwot Art Academy, like this spot right here. Although this one was actually a little bit harder to do, mainly because the wall is pretty thick. But it's also a place where people could be hiding on the other side of it, especially in Raymaker or other modes. Now, this is a very common spot, the mushroom, as a lot of people call it on Inkwot Isle Academy. Of course, some might say you could just aim on top of the mushroom and then you got the hits easy, but there could be scenarios where the slushing machine is just randomly sloshing at mid-level and you still die while you're on top of the mushroom. Which, of course, again, is not good. Now, with some further testing, we wanted to figure out if this was just a sloshing machine only kind of deal. And as you can see, the squiff is sniping the inkling through the glass. I'd like to say that this is potentially a collision issue or an issue with the player's hitbox. Now, I do want to mention this map is like the only map where you can actually do this with a sniper. But just so you guys understand what's going on, basically, the player's hitbox is actually going through the glass in these clips right here. You can see this clearly as they go in squid form and there's like a big highlight on them. Well, considering this glass is tainted, that's not supposed to happen. And with any sniper, you have no issue shooting them through the glass. And of course, with the sloshing machine, yeah, you can just slosh and it just works. There's just no issue with the sloshing machine because the hitbox on the weapon is so wide, it doesn't exactly matter what it is. As long as the wall is thin enough, it is very much possible to hit players on the other side of it. So we tried this on another map too, known as Undertale Spillway. Of course, the sloshing machine always works. You know, it just always does. But then we tried it with the dynamo as well. It seems if swung right, this spot on Undertale Spillway, you should be able to hit somebody while you are under the glass 
with no issue. The thing about this though is that it follows kind of the same thing as a slushing machine, where it's not swung directly at the person, where it's almost a thing where like the fling has to skim the roof of it. That's practically the only way how it hits. We of course did try this with a sniper just to see if it worked, but it does not seem like that's the case, which is a good thing. But again, the slushing machine shows itself that it's superior to any other weapon in the game, that it can just shoot through walls with no issue at all. Moving on to Hagglefish Market, we figured out a bunch of different things learning on this map because you can actually shoot people under the gazebo using the slosher machine. But we kind of figure out a discovery too, where this is a thing that it normally happens while a player is in squid form. It seems like when a player is in squid form, the hurt box is actually a lot lower towards the ground, as opposed to somebody who's just normally standing. It's still very much possible to hit someone who is normally standing, but it seemed like you had to be at a more specific angle, especially when it came to using the slosher machine. But I had no issue hitting somebody on the gazebo while they in squid form and it made a lot of sense because when it came to hitting somebody on the wall of the gazebo right here i had no issue hitting these players too as they were on a wall and it's also because they're in squid form hanging on the wall too which again of course this should not happen there are a couple of other places on hagglefish market which probably don't seem as likely but they are very much possible to actually slosh through the wall again just some more examples that as long as the wall is thin enough for the slosher machine hitbox to actually go through it that is all it needs if you hated Wahoo World, you're probably going to hate it even more, especially on Splat Zones, because the main flooring of the middle area is very, very hittable with the Sosha Machine. There are many places where you can stand under it, where you can hit people with the Sosha Machine through the floor. There's also a few walls that you can actually hit through no problem as well. I mean, there's honestly not even a few. There's so many friggin' walls on this map that you can actually hit people with the slushy machine. It's honestly, it's, it's actually kind of ridiculous how many spots uh, that you can actually hit people through this with this thing. We tested many areas. This is probably one of the maps that had pretty much the most amount of places that you can slush people through walls. It's actually kind of ridiculous. You can hit people on the middle of the map. You can hit people on this little perch here too. And the thing is with all these walls, they're very, very thin. So using the slushy machine to go right through it is like no issue. This position was probably one of the harder places to actually get the slushing machine to hit through it. It was probably one of the thickest walls that was actually there, but again, it is very much possible to hit through the wall here. Museum di Alfonsino had a lot of places. As you can see, the very start, this you're actually able to hit people through the glass very, very easily with the slushing machine, as long as they're right next to it, as you can see in these pictures here. Much like Eeltel Alley, the spinners that are a museum, it follows the exact same rule. All you have to do is shoot just a little bit under it, and you should be hitting people fairly easily. On this wall right here, the slushing machine does not care. It will just go right through. And the spinners that are on both sides of the map are also very, very easy to do. However, it kind of depends because the opponent actually has to be hanging on the wall for the slushing machine shot to actually go through. It kind of follows the same thing as if you are in squid form. Your heart box on the other side of the wall, it's much wider or more likely to actually get hit on the other side. But as you can see, there's just a bunch of really stupid places where the slushing machine has no issue hitting people through the wall. And just to let you guys know, this was all recorded within at least two hours. And we went into this with only like prior knowledge of knowing that on Sturgeon Shipyard, you can hit people under the zone very, very easily. And then we basically just found a bunch of these other spots on accident. And this basically shows how easily this could be performed, which I really don't think is a good thing. Moving on to Makoma, we actually discovered another thing. It seems like objects that are placed on the map, like these black boxes here, it's kind of like the thing where the outer projectile that comes out of the slushing machine is basically denied completely when it touches like an object that is placed on the map but when it comes to the environment of maps like these two walls here that completely does not happen and the slushing machine will slosh right through it and it will not care these were actually the only two spots that we found at least on Marco Mart but it goes ahead and shows how possible it really is moving on to Haberhead which also has some very stupid places that it can also be performed and how do I explain this I mean this one literally goes right through the wall and it does not care it follows the exact same rule and as long as the outer projectile goes through it, it will go through and kill the other person on the other side it does not end here too because of course there are some thinner walls as well where sloshing through the wall has no issue at all follows the same rule and i hope it gets nerfed these two spots are basically closer towards spawn so there might not be too many scenarios where you're actually having somebody try to do this against you of course before it gets patched which is most definitely going to get patched at some point i'm really hoping that this happens mid-October but as you can see yes this is another scenario of the slosher machine hitting through walls. Now Scorch Gorge is actually one of the maps where it was much harder to actually find a spot. It seems like every 
spot that we tried, at least of Scorch Gorge Rainmaker, all the walls that were available to us did not seem like the Sasha Machine can actually go through it, which was very odd because some of the walls didn't seem too thick, but it just seems like Scorch Gorge is one of those maps that didn't really matter that much. And lastly, we went through Mincemeat Metalworks. There are a couple of spots that had some thin walls where we were able to slosh really easily through it. This ladder looking wall was very easy to also slosh through as long as you knew exactly where the person was on the other side of it. And you know what? I think you guys understand it. I think you get the picture. As long as the wall is thin enough, the slushing machine can slosh through it no problem. I basically showed you guys what we found in the last two hours of recording this. And it's probably not all the spots in the entire game, but it's definitely most of them. Now, first of all, what needs to happen is that the Sasha machine needs to get nerfed. Straight up. This, of course, should not happen. There are some maps in the game where this could realistically be used, especially Sturgeon Shipyard, especially on Mahi Mahi on this clip right here. I was saying the first time I was using the Sasha machine that this weapon should get nerfed because personally, I felt even the hitbox on just normal play was too wide. And now going through all of this, I definitely can say that, yeah, this thing was too wide and the outer hitbox being able to go through walls is a problem. Now, how will this hurt competitive? Personally, I think the social machine needs to get banned. Only for now until this is fixed. Because I am stressing to you guys, this could be done by anybody. It's not hard at all to pull off. At least for any competitive player or basically anyone. It doesn't even matter if it's someone who's competitive. This needs to be fixed. So fingers crossed, there is going to be a weapon or balance update during the middle of October. Hopefully they can push that out sooner because we're going to have to go through two weeks of this. But I wanted to show this off to you guys because I think it's something that we all need to be aware of. And hopefully it could be something that could be signal boosted to the Splatoon devs or Nintendo. But yes, this needs to be fixed as soon as possible. So hopefully you guys are informed. I would urge you guys just to please not try this in games. I mean, I could say that, but there's probably going to be that fair lot of you that probably will try it in games as well. It is basically cheating, dude. <laughs> like, it's basically cheating cheating like no other weapon should be able to do this and the game just definitely needs to be fixed so i mean honestly that's all i have to say for this i hope you guys enjoyed all these wacky kills that were able to get obtained here if you did enjoy make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to also leave a like on the video if you also enjoyed it follow me on twitch and twitter both in the description below do it for both if you're feeling generous make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button to let you guys know whenever i upload a video and also consider joining the public discord where you can go ahead and talk to myself my dude society community it's also the greatest place to be notified whenever I go live for a stream. And it's also a great place for you guys to find other people to play Anarchy Battles open with, Salmon Run, Private Battles, or anything. Just a great community all around. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I shall see you guys in a future one.